Since the 1970s, the Groundlings Theater and School in Los Angeles has trained some of Hollywood's big comedic stars like Will Ferrell, Maya Rudolph. And these days, they're still innovating the art of improv and sketch by nurturing a diverse and inclusive community of performers. Actor Leonard Robinson is with us now to tell us more about the Groundlings, along with details on the special virtual performances that they're putting on for Black History Month. Hi, Leonard. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? So first off, tell us more about the Groundlings Theater. You guys have had a lot of very recognizable names and talent come through your school, including yourself. Sure, sure. I mean, the Groundlings is based in Los Angeles, 7307 Melrose Avenue. Walk on by, check it out. Um, been around since 1974, and we like to think of ourselves as the premier sketch and improv theater um, and school in not only just the country, but, you know, in the world. You know, um, if you saw in the in the package that's playing right now, we've had a lot of, you know, great stars that have come through the program. You know, uh, Phil Lamar, original cast member of Mad TV. Uh, you know, currently we have a lot of great people who are in the company right now. Edie Patterson, who, who appears on HBO's Righteous Gemstones. Uh, Julian Gant, who's currently starring with uh, Mayim Bialik on Fox's Call Me Cat. Ooh. Or Lyric Lewis, who's on uh, NBC's AP Bio. Well, that's very cool. I mean, um, you know, we need some of this entertainment and, and kind of these getaways and to see your creative juices working in that theater space. And yeah. then this month for Black History Month, you guys are really using this opportunity to make it a teachable moment. Can you tell us more? Yeah, well, I think the great thing about what the Groundlings, uh, how we operate is we operate as a company and we make our decisions, you know, the company members make the artistic decisions. And uh, as a company, we decided that, you know, for Black History Month, we could do a little bit more to celebrate and honor a, a lot of the talent and, and share space um, for a lot of the talent in town. By, by one, we uh, all of our improv shows have a completely all black cast starring, you know, some of the, the alumni from our program. In addition to guest performers like Kyla Pratt, who stars on Call Me Cat, or Gary Anthony Williams, who currently starring on The Crew on Netflix, and so that's been that's been great, and it's never been done actually before at our theater. And also, we have other bonus programs and um, and panels. That was a that was a clip of the panels uh, with the seven black uh, groundlings who's uh who made the, the main company and i'll be doing another program on the 28th uh talking about racism in sketch and improv comedy with the groundlings diversity and equity and inclusion consultant pavi tamu oh and also on the 28th we have a, a partnership a performance with the amazing grace conservatory theater which is going to be great uh, the team performers uh, with that performing with the Groundlings main company members. Yeah, it's very cool. And I know that uh, the mission of the Groundlings includes diversity and inclusion all year round. But as you're talking about some mm -hmm. of these sketches and this, these panels with the all black cast, that's great. Um, mm -hmm. Talk about how important that is, because we do hear a lot more these days about representation mattering in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, you know, especially over the last couple of years, the Groundlings has, has done a great job of about trying to reach out and be more inclusive and to, you know, bring some performers, uh, you know, of all colors to the stage that that normally wouldn't be seen. But I think this uh, this is finally, you know, an opportunity, especially probably because because of the pandemic and all our shows are strictly online. It's allowed us to reach a broader audience and really celebrate and um, give space and opportunity for a lot of, you know, faces that probably wouldn't have been seen um, all at one time. Yeah, I love that. I love that diversity and inclusion piece. And that's a good side effect of the pandemic. Now, if someone wants to train with the Groundlings, how can they do that from a distance? You know, the great another great thing, I mean, you got to look at these silver linings, right? right? Yeah. Uh, go to groundlings.com. Most of our classes are online right now. You can you can take a class virtually from anywhere in the world, and we have we've had we've had students logging in from South Africa, Canada, you know, New York, um, and as far out as West Covina, California. <laughs> All right, very good, Leonard. Well, thank you so much for sharing about your programming this month with the Groundlings and a little bit more about the history there. If you want to learn more about the school and details on some of those virtual performances, you can visit groundlings.com.